While closed back headphones may help reduce some noise, they won't be very effective if you're trying to block out a lot of background noise. This is where a pair of noise-canceling headphones comes in handy. In order to lessen the impact of outside noise, noise-canceling headphones employ specialized noise-canceling technology. These headphones are great for the gym, for sleep, or the bus. In addition to reducing background noise, they provide an environment where the listener may fully immerse themselves in the music free from the pollution of external noise. Here are our picks for the best noise-canceling headphones of 2023. All the links mentioned in this review video are in the description below. Coming in at number 7 is the AKG N700NCM2. Although the AKG N700NCM2 noise-canceling headphones aren't as well known as Sony or Bose, they're nevertheless an excellent option. The AKG N700NCM2 can be a little tight, but that is more of a matter of personal taste than anything else. The tighter camping force can ensure a more comfortable fit for those with smaller heads, but for those with larger heads, this can cause considerable discomfort during long listening durations. The AKG N700NCM2 has a superb build quality, in our opinion, can compete with the more well-known brands on our list. The N700NC has a similar general sound design, but its bass is enhanced and finely adjusted. In other words, the entire sound character is full of life without coming across as overtuned thanks to the way the bass is slightly boosted in concert with the warm mid-tones and treble. Although they were released in 2019, they still have some connection issues compared to current headphones. While being a perfectly viable technology in the present day, the N700NC uses Bluetooth 4.2, which isn't as efficient as Bluetooth 5 and beyond, which is seen in a number of other noise-canceling headphones. These headphones are great for runners and other people who like to keep moving while listening to their music. It's true that earbuds are more comfortable for this kind of activity, but the AKG N7000NCM2 are a fantastic pair of noise-canceling headphones that don't receive enough credit. At number 6 we have the Razer Barracuda Pro Wireless. Those who are familiar with the headphones industry know that any company claiming to cater to gamers are automatically marked down a notch. Gaming headphones often have inferior sound quality compared to more established brands of headphones available at the same price point. While the company behind these noise-canceling headphones is a household name in the gaming industry, the company has taken a bold move away from the gimmicky nature of gaming headphones with this set. The Razer Barracuda breaks the stereotype by offering quality sound. While Razer has released a number of other sets of headphones aimed towards gamers, the Barracuda Pro Wireless even looks different from the rest of them. The exterior is tasteful, with few decorative flourishes that don't call attention to themselves like Cheetos and Mountain Dew could. These headphones remind us quite a bit of the Sony XM series, from which they clearly take design cues. The Barracuda Pro wireless audio performance much surpasses that of any other Razer device we've used in the past. The sound seems smoother now, although there are still some glitches. The Barracuda Pro's bass is a major selling point. It's highlighted a little, but not so much that it detracts from the presentation, as most people would agree. The Barracuda Pro's bass tuning is so well done that even Sony, in particular for the XM5, might learn from it. There is a little more of the familiar Razer sound present in the higher middle, but the extreme amplification causes some roughness, especially in the vocals. While the results here are better than we're used to seeing from Razer devices, they don't quite match those of the Sony XM5 or other similarly priced high-end models. The Barracuda Pro Wireless is a decent pair of headphones, and their noise cancellation features are particularly strong points. In the first place, these have excellent passive noise isolation. You won't even need your ANC if you use these. When it comes to the actual functioning of the ANC, though, these headphones are outstanding. The Barracuda Pro wireless overall performance is comparable to that of other top-tier noise-canceling headphones. Nevertheless, the headphones could benefit from further development in their ability to dampen low-frequency sounds. Because they support Bluetooth 5.2, you can count on a quick, cutting-edge wireless connection. These headphones have a remarkable battery life, lasting over 35 hours on a single charge. There is also a very practical 4-hour charge cycle time on these. For number 5 we have the Sennheiser PXC 552. The Sennheiser PXC 502 looks and feels very much like its predecessor, the PXC 500. The headband size and form may cause pain for those with really large heads, but otherwise the materials used give the impression of being quite sturdy and of excellent quality. Yet, the PXC 552 is a snug but comfortable fit for the vast majority of its intended audience. This is fantastic for those who are a little more active and constantly worry about their headphones being unplugged. 
While they don't completely isolate noise like earbuds would, these headphones perform a better job than most on this list. These cans deliver a remarkable frequency response overall, particularly in the low and high end, with tight, punchy bass and a smooth, bright midrange. The PXC552's weak point is its treble, which isn't horrible per se but can't keep up with the precision of the low and middle frequency. Despite this drawback, these headphones nonetheless produce a satisfying listening experience and will test even the most discerning of ears. The PXC502's battery life is excellent, lasting for over 20 hours after being charged for little over an hour. Micro USB seemed like an odd pick for a charging port given how commonplace USB-C has become. In spite of the antiquated port technology, these headphones nonetheless have state-of-the-art Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity, which provides superior latency and range. The very efficient apt XLL codec, which these headphones support, is a big reason why. These headphones feature a noise-canceling function that can be fine-tuned through mobile app. Their ANC performance is superb, on par with that of the Sony XM5. They block out both low and high frequency, making them a good option for the workplace as well as for the commute. Coming in at number 4 we have the Anchor Soundcore Space Q45. Soundcore has gained a household name because of its reputation for providing quality goods at reasonable prices. Soundcore's goods are best thought of as affordable but trustworthy. Soundcore's flagship ANC headphones, the Space Q45, have a design that is both retro and futuristic, recalling classic headphones while adding some modern touches. There are three color options to choose from. They don't feel too snug or too loose, making them a good option for listeners of varying head sizes. You shouldn't wear these at the gym because they will slide back and forth as you lean forward or backward. The Q45 isn't quite as comfortable as its predecessor, the Q35, in terms of the padding on the headband and ear cups. Compared to the Q35, whose cushioning we found to be of an ideal thickness and texture, that of the Q45 is noticeably thinner, while not a deal breaker, this is disappointing. The Soundcore Q45 isn't nearly as well-balanced sonically as the Bose or Sony, but at half the price, it's important to be fair in our comparison. The Q45 is an excellent pair of noise-canceling headphones for about $150. These headphones have a pretty obvious V-shaped sound signature, making them a good choice for less critical listeners who care more about having a good time than getting every detail quite right. One must nonetheless admire the imaging performance that the Q45 offers. Expect a deep bass that is, as indicated, subtly amplified. Together with the trebles dips, the upper mids become a little too harsh as we approach the mids, where there are a few peaks. In general, we hear echoes of the Civia SV21 in their tone. The Soundcore Q45 shows its strength in its ability to wipe out background noise. These headphones can compete with the best of them because of their superior suppression of high and low frequency noises. The Q45 has fantastic battery life and recharge times, allowing for up to 50 hours of use after just 2 hours of charging. However, the ANC settings can alter this. Overall it offers great audio as well as competitive noise cancellation. It deserves to be on this list. In the number 3 spot we have the Focal Bathies. The name Focal may be unfamiliar to the typical consumer, but it is well known among audiophiles. The Focal Bathies is one of the most interesting speakers to come out in recent years, and the French manufacturer has a history of producing high-quality goods. The Bathies are not like other noise-canceling headphones because, okay, so there's a great deal that could be said about these headphones. The first thing that sets these headphones out is their unusual design, which may not be too surprising to audiophiles, but could be a bit surprising to those accustomed to the sleek, minimalist-style headphones typically found in conventionally priced audio equipment. Focal has been using this distinctive and eye-catching aesthetic in their other headphones for some time. Such a design aesthetic is also typical among luxury headphone manufacturers. The Focal Bathies are a premium pair of headphones that may set you back upwards of $800. At this pricing point, exceptional quality is expected, and Focal has delivered. It's worth noting that these headphones place a premium on performance above noise cancellation. You shouldn't count on as much ANC as you would from the majority of the speakers here. If you're looking for noise-canceling headphones, go no further than the Sony XM5 or the Bose QC45. It's a totally other ballgame when we talk about the audio. As far as imagery, soundstage, and frequency response are concerned, the Focal Bathies excels. Focal products, as one might guess, place a premium on neutral, precise audio reproduction, yet they nevertheless manage to sound incredibly lively and full of detail. For closed-back headphones, the impressively immersive sound they produce is a real selling point. 
Despite Focal's best efforts, some bathies have been sent back due to quality control issues. Even Focal admitted that there were packaging problems with the first shipments, which led to several drivers being damaged while in transit. The resulting high-pitched noise rendered several products useless. This has been fixed, however if you're buying them used, you might want to keep this in mind in case the previous owner resold them instead of returning them. Focal promises to provide a replacement if something happens to your unit. As a result, this issue is annoying, but it isn't indicative of the product's overall quality. For number 2 we have the Bose QuietComfort 45. The Sony XM5 set a high standard for headphones, and Bose's QuietComfort 45 had to live up to that standard. The QuietComfort 35, which came before it, was a popular product that did a great job on its own in all the ways that matter for a set of noise-canceling headphones. Nonetheless, the Bose QuietComfort 45 delivered a more objective and substantial improvement in quality compared to its predecessor than Sony's line. The Bose QuietComfort 45 improved upon its predecessors in several key areas, including customer convenience, noise isolation, and sound quality. If you like headphones with a heavier bass profile, the QuietComfort 45 isn't for you. To the contrary, they are favored by people who seek a more natural and precise tonal quality. The Quiet Comfort 45 has a remarkable frequency response, especially in the mid-range, which is warm, crisp, and wide. With its excellent sound quality, the Bose Quiet Comfort 45 stands out for its superior level of wearing comfort. The form and materials of the ear cups mean that these headphones will fit comfortably and securely on a wide variety of heads. Most of the ways in which the Bose and the Sony compare favorably are identical, with the Bose coming out on top due to its superior delivery of a brighter, and warmer mid-range frequency performance in a more subtle, balanced bass. If you're looking for a device that can handle background noise better, the Sony is your best bet. The Bose's imaging might use some work since it is respectable, but not as remarkable as that of rivals like the AKG N700 NCM2 or the Sennheiser PXC552. The jump from Bluetooth 4.1 to 5.1 is also significant, as it greatly improves wireless range and latency. Furthermore, Bose is abandoning compatibility for the previous Bose Connect app in favor of the graphical equalizer-equipped Bose Music. These headphones app-based EQ customization guarantees a more personalized listening experience. One of the most popular noise-canceling headphones on the market, these speakers definitely stand out. The Bose QC45 is a great pair of headphones to have around the house or on the go. And finally at number 1 we have the Sony WH-1000XM5. Truly outstanding noise-canceling headphones have been developed by Sony in their WH-1000 class. The Sony WH-1000XM4 was able to immediately compete with the Bose QuietComfort 35 on its arrival. And now, with the release of the Sony WH-1000XM5, we've seen some further advances made in this series, albeit there are still places where the XM4 does better. Sony put greater effort into noise cancellation and sound signature with the WH-1000XM5. If you're a critical listener, you'll appreciate the XM5's superior performance in terms of a well-balanced sound. Yet, there is an increased bass presence that may appeal to individuals wanting for extra bass, not to those looking for a flat, realistic sound. The noise cancellation is superior to the XM4 both in terms of sound presentation and microphone quality. While the XM4S microphone failed to record clear sounds in a busy area, the WH-1000XM5 succeeds at this, with no interference with the microphone, even in relatively loud locations. The XM5 does a better job than the XM4 in noise cancellation, even if the XM4 offers a bit better passive isolation. There are a few situations where the XM4 still beats the XM5, however. The XM4 has a faster recharge time with greater battery life, and subjectively has a nicer design. Those with smaller skulls may find the XM5 uncomfortable, despite its popularity. The Sony WH-1000XM5 is an update to the XM4 in many ways. The XM4 and XM5 are still excellent noise-canceling headphones that we would recommend without hesitation. The differences between the two models aren't truly linear. Instead, the XM5 and XM4 outperform one another in some respects and can coexist on the market. If your concentration is on the highest quality noise cancellation and sound signature, go for the XM5. The Sony WH-1000XM4 is still a great choice if you're on a budget and value extended battery life and comfort over everything else. That's all for today. Check out our channel for more videos. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful.